Hey folks, I'm Pants. I'm Big Rob. And this is a dictionary. <laughs> it's a book with pages and words and letters. It's important when you're holding mates of conversation to have one of these bad boys around sometimes. A dictionary? Yeah. You mean an old school Google? It's like Wikipedia. What? On pages? On pages. No. Yeah, see this stuff here? These are called pages. words. What? what the, I, I know those words. things words. I've seen them on a screen. Have you seen these on a screen before? Somewhere? I've seen them on a screen. You feel this? Feel this. Isn't that so much heavier oh my than, your God. Computer, than your cell phone? I still prefer the cell phone. <laughs> Occasionally. Watching the news. Yes. And the whatnots. Getting informed. Where I wish I could tell those newscasters, hey, you listen. That's not what that word means. Um, I wish I could throw a dictionary at them. <laughs> Maybe maybe someday I should make Without them. breaking the TV. I won't name any key newscasters. There's a couple out there. You'll know who you are when you get a dictionary from me. Put it that way. There's a couple of key things that gets people riled up. A couple of fun words. I like things that get people riled fun up. Fun words! That, those are, I love those words. What are these words, sir? Well, today's letter is the letter C. C? Uh-oh. C is for... Communist. Communist. Uh oh. 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 Now you're talking about Big Red right there. It's the Big Red. Uh oh. Mother Russia. Well, Mother Russia, uh, China, Cuba. Oh, how many countries around the world are a communist state now? Korea, North Korea. One of the most famous ones, other than the Russians and the Chinese, probably. Matter of fact, communism is a thing. Um, it's a dirty term Americans don't like to talk about. We, but we, it's don't, a thing. we don't like to talk about communism. Um, uh, do you know what this another dirty C word? What's this? Cookie? Cookie? Cookie's not dirty. <laughs> it's the C stand for cookie. Another dirty <laughs> C word is capitalism. Oh, capitalism. See, well, how is it a dirty word? That's what we are. We're capitalists. Americans are capitalists at heart. How is that a dirty word? Hmm. You see, sometimes, Mr. Rob, it's good to think outside of the box. Other countries all over the globe, including a lot of people here in the United States, mm -hmm. who feel capitalism, the big C word, mm -hmm. is bad. 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 No goody goody. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, whether you get strong emotions from capitalism, or communism, or cookie. One C word in particular. I wish we had cookies. Mm -hmm. Next time we do this, you have to bring cookies. I'm bringing cookies next Thanks time cookies. this happened. Okay. Um, we're going to help you understand some fundamentals here. But first, we're going to go to the good old dictionary. The good old days of knowledge. Please, enlighten us, sir. Okay. Communism. In theory, all means of production are owned in common or by the people rather than by individuals, i.e., you know, corporations and whatnot. In practice, a single authoritarian party controls both political and economic systems of the country. Okay. Let's move on to the other C word, capitalism. Capitalism. An economic and political system characterized by a free market. What's a free market? Well, it just means basically means the government can't get their greedy hands into the private control of goods and services. That's what a free market is? Yeah, free market. Oh, you production, that down yep. too? production and exchange of goods and services without interference from government or from monopolies. But again, monopolies are illegal and can't happen. But all in all, the fact that, what, four families own like 90% of the media industry? No, that's not a monopoly at all. True fact, no monopoly in board game? Yes. It wasn't supposed to be fun. Really? Why not? It's, it's the funnest game I played. It, it, what are you talking about? It was a game that was stolen by the Parker Brothers. Hmm. The concept, I don't know. The lady might have gotten some money off of that. I don't, okay, yeah, I don't know. Most likely some backdoor deal there. Oh, yeah. But she designed the game as a social lesson so that people could see how annoying it is when one person has a monopoly over the whole board. 
This is what we're talking about here, though. Capitalism is a system by which people capitalize on getting ahead of everybody else. Mm -hmm. This is the problem we have with corporations today. That essentially means the corporations are allowed to run freely and wildly with all, all their stuff without the government oversight that was supposed to and should come with most of the stuff they're practicing. Oh, but we're practicing a free market, sir. Mm -hmm. Free market. That was part of the great American experiment. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's gone. The free market has gone and it has grown and things oh. have died up and things have grown up in the free market. Free market and free trade as well. Free trade is unrestricted trade among nations without government tariffs or custom duties on imports. But wait, we don't have free trade. No, we do. No, absolute free trade. I believe we have free trade. We're, we're constantly embargoing. Yeah, free stuff. trade. China. That's how Chinese. That's how we have the Chinese goods that are coming in is because of free trade. But that's how Russia can't trade with anybody. We're going in there and saying, "Down with you, free trade." Okay. Yeah, down with you, free trade. Because as long as America is the one to control it, it's fine. But if America isn't the one controlling it, then America doesn't want it. Oh, there's so many facades, so many damn illusions. <laughs> it's all smoke and mirrors, folks. <laughs> Just like uh, a big like cat and mouse time. game, man. And, and it's all smoke and mirrors, mm -hmm. folks. When it comes to most of what's happening, the choice words that are used by intelligent politicians, the choice <laughs> words that are used by the intelligent economists, that make marketing campaigns for everything that's in your face constantly. Non-stop, 100% all day long. We have a marketing campaign because we have to, because we have to work within the damn capitalist system that we were born we into. Have, we don't have a choice. This is it. We have to work with it or against it. Well, we can work against it. So much. The question is, though, sir, mm -hmm. can we accept that communism isn't necessarily so bad because we just went on length discussing capitalism there and the first big c word is communism communism always the big dirty big c word in government now for it's it's our understanding right and it's the general understanding that capitalism and communism are polar opposites right this is basically that's what what they try to say is they're polar opposites but a great quote here it says all communists are socialists, but not all socialists are communists. Well, okay, well, this, this brings it into mention. So there's this third word. It's not a C word. Socialism. It's an S word. Kind of sounds like a C. It's an S word. Close. Dear Mr. Rob, enlighten us. Socialism. Socialism. I, I don't know. This close enough. Pro politics. Well, actually, you, you opened up right to it. Well, that's pretty close. <laughs> Socialism. A system in which the production and distribution of goods are controlled by the government instead of private enterprise, basically corporations. Instead of competition, it guides economic activity. Some socialists tolerate capitalism as long as the government is the main influence in the economy. So that's the textbook definition. That, that's of from the dictionary, right, folks. Um, Government owning General Motors. Mm -hmm. That's a good example of it. That's a socialist corporation, basically. Um, or in in Germany, mm -hmm. uh, the the Volkswagen. The Volkswagen. Um, the the people's vehicle, the people's automobile. Yep. Um, this is socialism. It's not that bad if you have some good government system, some good political system, because we have to understand mm -hmm. that socialism, capitalism, mm -hmm. communism, these are, or socialism and capitalism are not political systems. Loosely they're, affiliated with each other. They're economic systems mm -hmm. that have certain political structures that can function within mm -hmm. them. Communism, however, is specifically a political system. That's what makes it set, set apart, is that it has um, that authoritarian uh, single dictator figurehead. Yeah, absolute control. That's right. that's the thing with yep. communism uh, that makes it specific. And even there, I mean, on a different day, we'll talk about the D word. Yeah. Dictator. Oh, or maybe dirty, even dirty, the dirty other word. D word, democracy. Oh, democracy. Time, Everybody folks. loves democracy. 
That's what dictionaries are dictionaries for. Dictionaries are for. We can a do the through whole C. alphabet. <laughs> but we're not going to do the whole no. alphabet. Instead, we're going to let you at home do me a favor. Buy a dictionary for a loved one. Great Christmas gift. Great Christmas gift. They won't know. Don't, your little kid's going to think he's getting the PlayStation 4. <laughs> and he opens it up and it's two dictionaries back to back. Which, by the way, PlayStation 4 is great. That's for another day. Another day, another topic. I'm Pants. I'm Big Rob. This is the Bracing and Trees Network. Make sure you subscribe. Down below. Right down there. Please. Leave us comments. Love letters, please. I, I love them. Go to Facebook and become our friends. Like us. Share us. Go to Patreon and become a patron. Your pocket chains, your pennies, your nickels, your dimes, your quarters. Do what you can do. We love you all, especially me. Don't ask what the Breeze and the Trees Network can do for you. Ask what you can do for the Breeze and the Trees Network. Peace out, Fish Peace.